Today, I'm going to show you how to make the test pilot. This is another rum cocktail from Don the Beachcomber, circa early 1940s, documented by Beach Bum Berry in his remixed page 96. Slight recipe adaptation, but stay tuned to the end of the video because I think I can help you adjust this cocktail to actually suit your palate a little bit better than what the rest, original recipe does. Hello, Rum fans. Welcome back to the channel. But for those of you that are new around these parts, hello, welcome. My name's Steve the Barman and right here on this red channel, this is the channel that I dedicate to showing you how to make all the famous rum cocktails. Short, sharp, in, out, let's get making. So if you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But for those of you that don't know, I've got five other YouTube channels as well, all with their own specific niches, attracting different audiences. They will be linked in the description below. So go and check those out as well if you're interested. So your shopping list to make the test pilot, this is seven ingredients. So I'll run you through them uh, back to front like I normally do. So we'll start off with lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice, Angostura bitters, I've got my Cornish uh, pastis, so uh, think dirt perno, think um, absinthe, something like that. But I can get this in half bottles, which is perfect, because you don't need much of it. You definitely don't need a 70cl. That'll last you flipping ages. So I've got my Tarquin's pastis, Cornish pastis there. J.D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum, um, Pierre Ferrand Dry Orange Curacao. Then the OG recipe calls for dark Jamaican rum. Well, this would be my kind of go-to, unless you want a higher ABV version, then I'll go Worthy 109. Uh, so I've got Plantation, which is Jamaica and Barbados, to be fair. Um, and then it actually calls for a light Puerto Rican rum. Now, I haven't got any light Puerto Rican rum here, any Don Q, any White Bacardi or anything like that. Uh, and I've just sort of finished the um, Solution Deep Dive. This is a column still rum from St. Lucia and actually I would put it leaps and bounds above uh, those Puerto Rican rums so I'm using that as my basically want a lighter unaged column still rum. Now just a quick note on this cocktail both recipes I've seen sort of they don't really pay a nod to which sort of blender it is they just say blend at high speed for five seconds. Now the photos I've seen don't put turn this into a slush puppy so I'm naturally interpreting this as a flash blended, spindle blended cocktail. That's how I would interpret it. But actually, I don't know. I've just never seen a slush puppy version, a photo of this. I've always seen where you see the ice cube. So I'm going for a flash blended. So first ingredient, 15 mil, half an ounce of lime juice, 15 mil, half an ounce of JD Taylor's Velvet for Lernum. And the other recipes I've seen also called for three um, tablespoons or teaspoons or bar spoons of uh, dry orange curacao. Now, bar spoons are like five mil, so three of those is fifteen mil. So I'm just going fifteen mil of Pierre Fran dry orange curacao, and then forty-five mil, one and a half ounces of your dark Jamaican rum, twenty-two and a half mil of your light Puerto Rican rum, or in my case, a uh, solution, one dash of Angostura bitters, and then not much of your perno or pastis. You just want six drops of that. So it's like literally about a quarter of a bar spoon here for that. Big old scoop of crushed ice, specifically eight ounces is what the recipe calls for. And then I'm gonna flash blend for five seconds. Pour unstrained into your double old fashion glass. So I'm just using my Mai Tai glass. Crown with more crushed ice if you need to. Then to garnish, we're going for a maraschino cherry. I'm just going for a lime wheel, dried lime wheel. Now for me, I can understand why this cocktail is not in the mainstream. It's, I wouldn't call this balanced. It's, um, it needs a touch of sugar in there, like five mil of sugar. Definitely for me personally. Um, yes, I probably did go a touch too heavy on the pasties, but not dramatically. You know, it wasn't, I didn't get to half a bar spoon. It was just, it was slightly over a quarter of a bar spoon. But the perno, the pasties does sort of shine through. I just want something a little bit more forgiving in there. The other way I could have done it is instead of using John D. Taylor's uh, Velvet Falernum, I could have used the ODK or the Monin Falernum syrups. That would have given me a bit of extra sweetness and balanced that out. But it's a lovely booze-forward rum cocktail. It's just not a mass 
market in the way that a Mai Tai is. The Mai Tai is a much more forgiving cocktail than what this is, the test pilot. But I would urge you to try it. I think you will have a lot of fans if it just simply adds 5ml of sugar syrup.